welcome back to another episode of Till the End. For once, maybe I'll get this video out on time. No promises, though. In today's episode, I'm going to set up a little festival for my town. My town has great holidays and all. Yeah. But I think I could do a little better. Last episode I built a hundred chickens and all, but and that's great, but I hardly touched chickens that episode. Thenceforth this episode I am making the chicken festival. First of all, I'm gonna need some new sheep. Yeah, I don't have much left. I do have pinky though. That's great and all, but I think I could do better. Sheep! Come with me, Mr. Sheep. Ew, go away, I don't need you. I only need sheep. And now you are mine forever. You too will be mine forever. Good thing I have another spot too. Sheep. It's really good to have when I'm nowhere near my house. Well, I do get I could have just walked over there and I probably should have, but eh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Ow! I probably should have expected that. Yeah, don't jump off of buildings, the say of the day. There's a white sheep right here, another white sheep, and another brown sheep. Look, buddy. I don't need your species anymore. Oh, no, not you. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I do need you. Just not you. Oh, no. I don't need you either. Just come here so that I can punch you there. Come inside. How'd the other sheep get all the way over there? That's nowhere near enough sheep. You know, my particular style of getting sheep's pretty unique. I used to breed sheep, but then the babies take like 20 minutes to grow up, and I don't have that time nowadays. So I just find sheep in the wild and bring them back to the pen. It's faster, and I don't have to use up nearly as much wheat. A sheep for the sheep pen. Or should I say woolly guacamole? Yeah, that's what I called this thing, right? More sheep for the sheep pen. Or woolly guacamole. Hey, you. Yes, you. Hey, you don't walk away from me. You're not sheep. So you must have a light hard conversation. So how's your day been going? Not so well, eh? Look, buddy, you don't get to walk away from me and get away with it. There you go. Doing it again. Yeah, don't you stick your face in the grass and get away with it either. Who do you think he is? What I meant to say was... What a nice piggy. Lucky it's getting late, buddy, or else I was gonna, you know. Well, time to go to sleep. Sleep. Where'd my shears go? Eh, it doesn't matter. I can always craft a new one, because for some reason I have two separate pieces of iron in separate chests. Hopefully this pair of shears will be enough. It should do. I don't need too, too much wool. It's time for all of you to get the snip, 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 snip. You know, maybe having the woolly edges wasn't such a great idea. Or sheep, come right this way. Yes, yes. Are you guys really stuck? Yes, yes. I need a little bit of oak wood fences for what I'm about to do, so... Whoopsies. And now that that's done. And I'm out. Looks like I'll have to take down those poles after all. Perfect. And perfect. Sheep. Now using all the wool I got, I can make carpets. And now, it looks great. And I still have loads of white wool. Not loads like last episode where I had like 40 stacks of white wool. It's raining. Take shelter. Get under this tree, Mr. Cow. No, it's too dangerous out there. No, come back. Uh, whoop, he's a goner. Yeah, I gotta get back to my house, gotta get back to my house, gotta get back to my house. I hope lightning doesn't strike me. Oh, I forgot it doesn't rain in acacias. I have to go back in the rain for something. Ah! Oh yes, there it is. I need a little bit of leather, Mr. Cow. Sorry. Oh no, no leather. Ah! Finally some leather and with a little bit of paper. I make a book. It pains me to do a spiny a feather. Uh, it was worth it. And now I have a book and quill. And now I can write the guest list to the festival. Mr. Villager has to come. And a whole bunch of chickens. And my dog. Sign. The guest list is done. Sleep. Want to read it, honey? Well, here you go. What's wrong with it? 
Oh. I see. If I could understand your doggy language, maybe I would improve it. But I don't. Sorry. Well, now that I have the guest list done... Hey, you! Yes, you. Make yourself useful for once. Take this book, go deliver it, or whatever you want to do with it, and... I guess that's it, and I'll go... Yeah. What was I gonna do again? Oh yes, build the festival. For once, I managed to make Wandering Trader useful. He did look a little bit odd, though. Well, now that I got the guest list dealt with, I guess I should set up the chicken festival. I mean, the guests would be really disappointed if they showed up and all that's here is a burger shop, a tower, and my mucky old hole. First of all, I'm gonna need a whole lot of wood. And that's not gonna be easy. That actually wasn't too hard. Now I just need to get the wall. Which is probably gonna take a lot longer than I actually think. Oh uh, yeah. I'll be back shortly. And by that I mean for you guys it's gonna be a few seconds. And for me it's gonna be a day or two. I got all the wool I need. I think at least. If I need anything more my shears are gonna break pretty soon so i won't have those around but anyways now i get to make the model for this whole thing uh that's the basic stall for a festival i normally go for it's decent it looks a little boxy but with slabs it looks kind of weird that looks uh Decent. I feel like I could do better, but I'm kind of lazy. But I feel like I should do some off-camera tinkering. And that's my cue to lazy off and probably do the off-camera tinkering tomorrow. Alright, so I haven't made much changes, but the changes I made make me love this thing so much more than I did. I like it from all angles now. This angle, this angle, eh, uh, the, the grass is in the way, but this angle, pretty decent. But this angle, ho ho ho, this angle is a beaut. I love this thing. Looks great. All I did was add stairs here and here, this trap door, and I switched out the colors. And now, I gotta tear it down, sadly, because I don't want a random stall just sitting in the middle of nowhere. It is getting very, very dark. I should probably go sleep. Sleep. Good morning. All time lapse getting some of this ready. Because I also need a pathway going out this way. So you'll get to experience one of my lazy time lapses. Why is there stone there? This will not do much better. So yeah. Time lapse. <laughs> So, I got the path done, made some outlines for the little stalls, or whatever they are, not quite sure yet. But one thing I can tell you is I got way too many colors of wool. I have nine colors to pick from, and only five stalls to make. I really am in a pickle. And so to pick the colors I'm going to... Pick my favorites. Not very impressive, I know. Pink first, obviously. You need pink in your life. Uh, it's a necessity. Don't judge. Red, I guess I kind of need. Blue, 100%. Green, yes, yes, yes. Now, for the last color I have to pick. I'm tied between yellow or orange. Yellow has a nice feel to it, and it matches me. I'm going for yellow. Well, those are my colors picked. Now I just gotta get building these stands done. The first one will be yellow. The second one will be green. Sheep. And the third one will be blue. And this one will be red. And the last one will obviously be pink. The best color ever. And there are the stands. Now, I don't know about you, but if I just have stands, this would seem like a pretty disappointing festival. I wouldn't be happy if I showed up and all I had to do was shop at stands. 
Unless, of course, they had free samples, then I would love it. But otherwise, I would hate it. Unless they had food, then I would love it. But you get the point. So I am going to build something here. And I have no idea what to build. Brainstorm, brainstorm. Ah, I've got it! Time lapse time! Alright, so I've done a lot of progress in that time lapse. The bushes I did after the time lapse, but this I did on the time lapse. Now this, this has made the whole place much more amusing. I mean, I'd come here now. I mean, look at this. So beautiful. I guess the festival is pretty much ready. The guests should be here soon. Ah! Uh, huh? Where are the guests? You were supposed to bring guests! What? But, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I should have known. Wandering chairs are too useless to do anything you ask them to. Now the guests are never gonna arrive. Unless. Unless the guests were to just appear! It worked! Huh? Hey, what? Mr. Villager just left? I guess all villagers are useless. At least the other guests stayed around. Well, looks like it's just me and you, honey. And all these chickens, I guess. Come along, chickens and honey. Let me show you around. Single file, guys. Single file. Come on, guys. You can fit through there. Fine. I'll make a little more space for you. Come on. Alright, guys. So the building you guys are just in is the chicken building. Ooh, isn't that crazy? You guys would have never expected it. And here are the stalls I built. Aren't they fabulous? Oh, and, and, and the sun's setting. But I'm sure we still have time for the chicken festival. And uh, here's another stall. And the burger shop. Anyone want to go inside? Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's head inside. I'll give you guys the grand tour. Come on right in. And you guys just stay in here while I go have a little bit of a sheep. Oh, I forgot you can teleport. Well, did you guys enjoy the tour of the burger shop? Well, in that case, uh, you're both stuck in the ladder, really. Come on, guys, it's not that complicated to get unstuck. Come on, guys, let's go. So you guys are very clearly enjoying the festival. I know, it's because I built it. Ah, chickens are the best. Uh, no, let's have a head count to make sure everyone's here. Chicken one, chicken two, chicken three, chicken four, chicken five, chicken six, chicken seven, and chicken eight. Good. Everyone's still here. And you, I guess, honey. But anyways, why don't I give you guys the grand tour of, of the grassy field? Isn't this grassy field just the best, guys? Yeah, I thought so. Celebratory eggs. Look at them fly. Ow, ow, ow. Ah, they all landed on me. Ooh, thanks for the, another celebratory egg. Uh, oh. A baby chicken popped out! Well, now there's nine chickens here, and it disrupts the balance of the guest list. Oh well, so, all of you chickens clearly want to have a little tour of my dirty mound. Looks like you guys actually learned single file, except for you two. Well, you two can just stay out there if you're gonna be like that. So, this is the dirty mound. This is where I live. Isn't this place sweet? Yep, I thought so. Here are my furnaces. So cool, am I right? Here's my crafting table. And this is the ever-expanding creeper hole. And I keep on accidentally blowing it up off camera. Single file, guys. Single file. Finally, you guys are all out. So, guys, how's the town? I wasn't asking your opinion, honey. I knew you guys would love it. Well, festival's over. 
You can all go home now. <gasps> Honey! Good boy. But you did harm a chicken, so... I sentence you to the timeout corner. That'll show Honey. I'm sure he'll never mess with chickens ever again. Sheep. I sure have achieved a lot this episode. Like, now I know chickens don't know how to go single file. And... Uh, yeah. I sure was productive this episode. Yeah. And before I forget... The last episode has one like. And that obviously means I get another block to my base. Yay. But anyways, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye! <laughs>